Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got um, 2007 Santa Fe. Um, today we're just going to be doing a ball joint replacement. I think it's because of because someone just called this and I'm just taking over the job. Um, it's the boot that's ripped, so I'm just replacing the ball joint, and that should be it. So let me remove the tires. I'm gonna lift up the vehicle and I'm gonna go check the underneath and what bolts and nuts that we're gonna remove. Okay, so we're underneath. Um, we're just gonna remove first our bolt there. It's holding on the bolt joint and the knuckle. Usually there's a pin here at the back or the end of the bolt. So I'm removing it. Okay, it's out. The, the nut is 17 mm if I'm not mistaken. And the bolt itself, so what you can do is you can try just hammer it. If it moves, if not, you know. So I'm just gonna spin the bolt so that it will break off the rust. the hammer at least the rust is out on the okay. so next will be we're gonna remove our bolts holding the other side of the arm so let me just move this camera So we're going to be moving this one here, I believe that's 19, 
And same thing on the other side. That's 19.2. Same thing on this side. So usually I'll break this first if your wrench can go in and just loosen the nut. But sometimes it's too tight. Gonna use usually I use a swivel socket, right? Because it's a perfect, perfect tool for this side here. Just in there. I'm just gonna lose the nut here. Oh, it's loose. Let me try the bar again. Stabilize the bar. Okay. The gun should work now, I guess. This bolt is out. Okay. Now we're just gonna move this other side of arm, so it's easier for us. Let me move this camera. So try it down first. Okay. Next is this side here. Now we're just gonna hammer the ball joint down. So if it's very hard, so if it's very hard, there's a slit here. You can use your pry bar to hammer it just to open up a little bit, and then we can hammer it down. Okay. So now at least maybe let's open up a little bit. Now we can hammer this down. whole arm is out so we're gonna remove the ball joint now because this is a press and type okay okay so I'm just using the table um, some vice grip here so this is our OEM style um, what do you call that ball joint 
and this one is an aftermarket so now before we're gonna press it out you have to look for that snap ring I don't know what style of snap ring in this um, aftermarket one you know what? let me just break this um, boot since it's broken garbage now where's the snap ring on this guy here now let me remove this boot at the bottom it's usually this aftermarket one the snap ring is underneath the boot so the snap ring okay so I can see the snap ring now so it's just using a C type of snap ring so let's just hammer that out let me grab my safety glass first okay so now we can just move this guy here that moves other side okay that's good now we're just gonna remove this guy here snap ring is out now we can push this ball joint all the way down so you need a press tool for that especially like a ball joint type you don't need a whole press itself let me grab that tool I'm just preparing the tool right now. Let me make this guy. So this. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Some guys they do it on the car itself, but I don't like doing that. Because that's too much, too much um, holding some components. Okay, so we're just gonna push down the tool now.
Ja. So now, I'm just going to clean some rust inside here, not too crazy, right? I'm just going to use the sandpaper, of course if you don't have that too, you maybe just call the whole control arm or replace the whole control arm, right? And sometimes, control arm is expensive. Alright, this one, I don't know how much is this ball, this the ball joint itself. I'm gonna just clean this surface here, because this is where our snap ring will sit. So that at least it's even on the surface. Okay, should be good enough. So now I'm just gonna flip this so that it's easier and we'll just push down the ball joint. So that's good enough. Here's our new ball joint. It should be like that. Same thing. Using this tool, we're just gonna put it the reverse way. Alright. Put this guy here. Four. Okay, so it should be good enough. And then we're just gonna use the same the gun to push it in. Okay. So I just double check that the end of the ball joint it sits on the arm so I think I have to push this a little bit more just a little bit
So I'm just going to flip this over again. Now we're going to install our snap ring. Okay, so here's my snap ring. Let me just grab my tool. Here's our tool. Okay, and just prepare yourself with a flat screwdriver so that you can support it when you push it down. So just oop, oh, snap it out. So you're just gonna push it down. Okay, looks like it's in. Okay, that's in. So usually if it's like that, I will just con like push a little bit on the groove. Okay, so that's it. So we place our ball joint. So now I'm just gonna put everything back together. And that's it. Okay, so that's it. So we're just gonna double check, especially our um, disc shield that is not touching the rotor. So we'll just quickly turn this. Okay, so there's no noise there. And that's it. So that's how you place a ball joint on a 2008 Santa Fe. And I hope you like the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you for watching.